Hello and welcome to Dunusa. Dunusa is one of the small Cycladic islands. There are big Cycladic islands and small Cycladic islands. And Dunusa is located east from Naxos, which is a big Cycladic island. And uh, this is our recommendation. We are at Fiori, Fiora Studios, and this is our studio. And that's Dunusa. That's all there is. And we found out yesterday there is a little boat on in the port of Dunusa with a little blackboard saying different names of places and we are going to go there and find out where these places are and where does where this boat takes us. And on Donusa actually you cannot rent a car or a scooter. There are also only just a few cars. But uh, there's no gas station. We don't know actually how the locals with their cars, how they get the gas. We haven't found out yet. I have to ask about the owner. And the only transportation here are your feet. We saw some people having bikes. I think they brought the bikes with a ferry, which comes here regularly from other islands. This is actually kind of like the center, or we are heading where we are heading now to the port. You can see there's a wonderful Bougainvillea, and these are little apartments here on the right you can rent. And you can see the deep blue already from the sea. And this is the main street in Dunusa village. Very busy. Even during the day, there may be only six or seven people. And over there is a a coffee place directly at the beach. They do excellent coffee, Corona Borealis. I definitely can recommend it. And we are heading now to the port. And this is a local supermarket where you can buy things you need. And actually we forgot to take a water from home. So we have to buy one water. There's the chef sitting there and maybe someone of you has an idea how we can get rid of these plastic bottles because there's no other way the local water you cannot drink so you have to buy the water but you only can get it in plastic bottles okay. We are at Avli restaurant which is actually a fish restaurant and you have a stunning view it's located over the port over the port of course and we're gonna have a double espresso I'm a little bit out of breath because we had to walk up here very exhausting 50 meters climbing and yesterday we saw actually a turtle down there in the port I took a little photo, I tried to incorporate it into the video. But first, let's have a coffee. <laughs> this is the boat we're gonna take very soon, about 15 minutes. And over there are the fisher boats. And the restaurant owner told us yesterday that we should not talk about that they see, or that we saw actually the turtle here because the fishermen are not really big fans of the turtles because they always get caught in the net and they kind of destroy the net. And we asked them, do you have a lot of turtles here on this island? And they say, yes, there are a lot of turtles. And they even come here to the beach for nesting. So that's really wonderful that there's still sea life going on. This is the blackboard we saw yesterday. So at 11 it goes to Kedros, Livadi, Focospilia and Kalotaritissa. And we are here and it goes to Kedros, Livadi, Focospilia and Kalotaritissa and then it comes back at 4 same way and it costs three euros per person to go to Livadi and three euros per person to come back I only asked the price for Livadi because we're going there I don't know if it's a bit more to go to Calotaritissa probably a few euros more so the restaurant up there is called Afli uh, where we just had the coffee 
and we talked to the owner yesterday and he said like the last 10 years here on Kofinissi the development has just gone up through the roof there has been nothing before and actually he's running the restaurant with his brother together they were living in essence and they lost their job due to their crisis in essence and then they said well we have this uh, piece of land up here above the port which we inherited from our father it was actually just a little house with an outdoor toilet and they transformed the toilet into a restaurant and now they have a really good restaurant and really good service and really good coffee as well and the coffee was even a little bit cheaper than on the beach 220 we paid for a double espresso euros and there you can see that the crisis also is always a, a chance for something new or for something better in the future and the season here actually starts now already um, mid of May and goes until mid of September and he said when they first when they were here 10 years ago the, the people were only coming in mid of July until end of August so much more people coming much longer season much more tourists but still this is nothing compared to the other islands and this boat reminds me of our day trip to Katokofonisi. You can see the, see the video if you click on the link above. Uh, where Captain Nikos, I think, or Kos, no, Costa, Konstantinos, was driving us to the beautiful island of Katokofonisi. So meanwhile we boarded the boat. And Marty will show you quickly how we are going on the map of Tunusa. So we are here in Stavros port and we are going to Kedros beach. First stop, second stop is Radi beach. Then the Kokostilia caves. And then it goes to Kalotaritissa. Okay, but we are jumping off before, huh? First going to Livadi. And we go to Livadi because on the pass there's one bus that goes on the island. It stops here and you have to go down very steep for 25 minutes. So Livadi is better with, with both. So the bus line is actually the yellow line. <laughs> yes. And when you go to these very remote beaches like Livadi Beach today, be sure to take enough, in, enough water. Uh, I would say like food. one and a half liter per person and also some food because there's nothing. There's no taverna, nothing. So I ran to the bakery and got a little delight. So Elias is bringing us to our beach today. So this is mother and father. Also, also captain. <laughs> is Ketros Beach. This is actually Ketros Beach and it's a beautiful beach. We have been here yesterday. You can you can see the people over there. You can walk actually. There are more people coming from the village of Tunusa. It's about a 20 minutes walk and then you have this beautiful bay. It's all sandy. You can swim out as far as you want and this is also a nudist beach as you can see. There are some people naked and behind there if you're a friend of camping, you can also do camping. It's a little bit unorganized and wild camping, but I saw yesterday like six or seven tents. There's a little taverna also where you can go to the bathroom or take a shower. The next beach is Livadi Beach where we are stopping and that's actually also where we are going to jump off today to explore this beach. the beach of Livadi now and hike up the hill because somebody at the beach told me there's a natural fountain where fresh water comes out of the rocks and also a pool where you can jump into and refresh and it should be around 10 to 20 minutes depending on your condition from the beach and it's a beautiful hike because you can see down to the base and to the beautiful beach of Livadi and there's a lot of oregano blooming here the smell is overwhelming so nice i just love the smell so let's try if i can find the fountain
I just met a guy who came down the path and I asked him where's the fountain and he said you have to go further up and then you find a little fence like this with a wire you have to open and go through and then it should be closed and you can see here are actually people living and look at the view they're having from their house so this is also a very green area there's a lot of bushes and actually bamboo and there's a garden here with tomatoes and uh, I think it's peach trees so water must be close and there it is there's the little fountain amazing on such a dry island the water is just coming out of a hole like this and it's ice cold beautiful and there's a little pool down here probably for the animals for the goats to drink And there's even a goldfish in here. Who would have thought? <laughs> Maybe it's a koi fish or a goldfish. I think it's like more like a, something in between. There's also a white one over there. But this is not really inviting for a swim. It's too flat. Beautiful. And there's even bananas growing over there. It's a beautiful place under this big plantain tree. And people are collecting the water here in the pet bottles and when you leave the pet bottles long enough in the sun the bacteria which is in the water will die. That's a natural way of, of making it into drink water, drinking water. And now I will head back to the beach. Above this fountain actually there are three taverners or maybe two. Two for sure but somebody said three. One is supposed to be the best one but we met people on the beach and the one said this one is the best, the other one said this one is the best so the truth is somewhere in between. Everybody has his own taste so you have to find out on your own. And at the tavernas actually also the bus is leaving back to town. So the hike from the beach to the tavernas or to the bus station is around 15 minutes if you're in good condition. If you take a slower 20-25 minutes. It was a beautiful hike. So now a beautiful day here at the beach comes to an end. Marty is getting ready and this beach is really recommendable. It's also a little bit like hippie-ish. There are people camping here and at the end of the beach there is a little public kitchen where everybody can prepare his food and the boat comes between 4.30, 4 and 4.30 but now it's already quarter to 5 and there comes the boat to pick us up and brings us back to the port. Thank you. That was it. And now we have a coffee. <laughs> it was a beautiful excursion really. So definitely take the boat. And the good thing is that the boat goes every day a different route. Yes, but you can always see it on the on the board there. That's already route actually for tomorrow. No, that's the one today. That's for today. Oh, anyway, it's tomorrow. No, it's tomorrow. Same, same. Yeah. So, but tomorrow we will do a different adventure. We are now back in the port and having our coffee, very good coffee actually here as well. And before we got here, I think I mentioned it already in a vlog before. Everybody say, "Wow, you're going to Danusa? There's nothing." And actually. It's true, there's nothing, but so far I must say there are like five to seven restaurants and some loud Greek people in the local bar <laughs> playing games and having coffee as well. Uh, there are some really good restaurants. We had two times already dinner here and the food was fantastic. And with the beaches which are spread out over the island, you have your privacy and you can really relax and you can really chill. And because the island is so small, you see some people again and again at the beach and you start chatting and exchange and and not becoming friends but you just have a good conversation at the beach and it's a really good island to relax it's really really recommendable and now we're going to close uh, this video for today we will go back to our room and cut some videos for you work on our website a little bit the way we saw it if you haven't seen it so far thank you very much for watching and see you soon in the next vlog 
safe travels always.